everybody, welcome back for another car wash review. Uh, today I am in Welland, Ontario, and uh, as you can see, I am nowhere near a car wash at the moment. I just actually was uh, was at an Esso gas station, and uh, it's a it's a small it's kind of a small spot. They I didn't even realize they had a uh, car wash <clears throat> because the um, it, the building and everything was so small, but uh, it's um, the guy even told me when I when I got it. He says when you pull in, it'll say stop, but he says move another foot and a half further um, just to fit the vehicle. Now it could be because I'm driving the the big cargo van today, but uh, anyways, the location is four four uh, four four six. East Main Street yeah 446 East Main Street in uh, in Welland here and uh, oh, actually I think I said is it an I'm trying to remember is it an SO no it's not an SO it's a mobile uh, mobile gas station so uh, my correction you'll see it when I drive over to it uh, but I'm gonna get out and show you around the van I just uh, there was no room over there to to park I felt like I was in everybody's way so I just pulled away and, and came over here so that's my reasoning so it's got some dirt down there this isn't gonna come off this is just uh, grease from when I uh, oiled the hinges I have to take that off myself, but this here should uh, come off. A little bit of dirt at the at the back. A little bit there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. I got a lot of little spots and stuff on the uh, on the windshield. We'll see if that comes off. Yeah, it looks like I'm actually far away from the car wash, but I'm not. It's just right around the corner here. Just gotta turn around. Got my GPS going here. So yeah, here it is here, and this is uh, East Main Street. It's one of the main streets, and then here's the gas station. Here, yeah, so it's a mobile gas station. And then like this is, what is this person doing? Are they going in the car wash, or what? Door is partially open. What is uh, what are they doing? Are you leaving? Are you what are you doing? Holy I guess they were just yapping. This, I mean, it's so tight, this area. It's almost as if this car wash was maybe an afterthought or something. Okay. Let's see. Get the little coat box down there. 
19526. Oh, laser wash 360. Holy mackerels. Oh. oh, that didn't last very long. <laughs> it was like, it did my, the very front of my vehicle and that's it. <laughs> All right. All right. Went in a little ways further. Let's see if it can do it. Let me just do this so we can see. It looks like a fairly new system, actually. It sure is awfully clean looking. Clear the back. Whoa. Wow. Oh, I gotta go up further. Oh. Uh, it says it's washing, but the thing came up. Oh. I, that's okay. I think I wasn't up quite far no, enough. Worries. I find you a new one. Oh. You can round up and oh. I'll be on your back. Okay? okay, thank you. Oh. He printed me a new. Uh... He printed me a new wash. It immediately stopped, but I the uh, I think it had problems going around the back of my vehicle. And it, I, I, I think I felt it touch the back. Now he told me to go back around. And he's gonna... I don't know if he's gonna punch it in. Oh yeah, I guess he is. All right, so he's gonna punch it in. Okay. Alright, so he said he's going to guide me. That, 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 that underbody spray makes me laugh. It just, it just, Alright, so he told me to stop. He guided me in and told me exactly when to stop the vehicle. So yeah, this is tight in here. If you've got like a full-size pickup truck or anything with any length to it, and this isn't an extended cab van, this is just the regular. All right. Let's see. Yeah, it made it. This just this is the tightest fit car wash I've ever been in. That's for sure. Yeah, because I moved forward about a foot more than whenever it said stop. But so it's kind of funny how it starts with uh, a high pressure. Like high pressure rinse or whatever you want to call it, and then uh, now it's doing the pre soak.
Yeah, the coverage is really good. And this must be a newer, a newer system. I mean, it looks in fantastic shape. Coverage and everything is really good. Even on both passes. Yeah. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, so they're going to put the tri foam right over top. This was the surface protectant, according to the sign. Wow, another high pressure, uh, it's the third one. the dryers are gonna be with me being so big in here the uh, spot free rinse uh, never lit up so I don't know if this uh, system offers that or not I think they did the uh, high pressure instead of the spot free gonna same exit 
All right, I'm going to uh, just go down the road here for a sec just to get out of there's just there's room to get gas and that's about it so I'm just gonna go down this side road here ah there's actually a big there's a parking lot right over here Let's get out and have a look. So it left uh, left some water on the windshield, but I'm not expecting much from the dryers when uh, the van is so so big because the uh, the dryers can't get the angle. But wow, you know what? Look at this. Sides are pretty dry. Pretty dry. All right, so it didn't get this, but this is. This is like a grease or something. It's not going to get that off. I don't even think a touch watch. I'm going to have to scrub that when I get home. It must, something must have come up off. It almost feels like uh, sap from a tree or something. So I'm not going to count that. Yeah, it didn't really get that too well. Yeah, see these little streaks. It wipes off really easy with my finger, but it didn't get it off. Shoot. So, I don't know. I'm really torn. <laughs> I re and the reason why I'm torn is I really enjoyed this wash. <laughs> I, I really liked it. Um, and the reason why is because the coverage was excellent. And you did three um, high pressure rinses. Now, if I had to be really critical, I would say if you're going to do three high pressure rinses, skip that very first one. Do the do the pre soak, then do the the high pressure rinse in between the pre soak and the tri foam. Where this one, they started with a high pressure rinse and then put uh, a pre soak and then the tri foam over top. I do a uh, high pressure rinse in, in between those two, but just the fact that you get three high pressure rinses, I would take, the, I'll take the high pressure rinse over the spot free rinse, to be honest with you. Um, that's just my personal uh, preference, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I, I don't know, I think this is good value. It was $11.99 uh, plus tax for the wash. That's without a gas purchase, and I'm not sure if you would get a discount if you got gas or not, because uh, I didn't, but. Um, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it's just a, it's neat how compact it is. Uh, if if you're gonna come to this wash, like I said, just be cautious if you have a, a big uh, vehicle. More just like the length. Um, this is just a regular length cargo van. If this was an extended, I don't think it would. I don't think you'd be able to to, to do it. Or if you had the, uh, the uh, extended like the pickup truck, with the eight foot box and that crew cab. I don't think it would uh, would fit either, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of neat. Customer service was excellent. Uh, the guy obviously was watching. He must have a camera or something because I mean, as soon as that thing hit the the vehicle, um, he was right out there. Had another wash already printed. Uh, it was like he was anticipating it. Super quick. Good good customer service. He was really friendly even when I was. Uh, uh, dealing with them on the inside of the store and that so uh, yeah I, I, I recommend this place so anyway sorry for blabbing but uh, definitely had to do some explaining on this one let me know what you think in the comments below is this one you would uh, you would come to um, if you could and uh, yeah like subscribe if you haven't and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one thanks everyone take care bye bye